The major news from London tonight, the stunning new report out this evening, the inquiry involving Princess Diana and that bombshell 1995 interview. Authorities now say Diana was deceived to get her to sit down for that interview. Tonight, Princess William and Harry responding, some of their most powerful and moving words yet on the treatment of their mother. Here's ABC's Lama Hassan. It was called the scoop of the century, getting Princess Diana to talk about her marriage and about the royal family, famously saying this. Well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. But tonight, the explosive findings, the investigation into how then BBC journalist Martin Bashir got Diana to talk. An independent inquiry has found that Bashir, among other things, showed Diana's brother fake bank statements in an effort to make Diana believe members of the royal family were paying people to spy on Diana. The investigation finding those falsehoods shared with her brother, quote, deceived and induced him to arrange a meeting. The inquiry finding it was an effort to play into her fears and loneliness to get her to talk. Tonight, that independent inquiry has concluded that Bashir used, quote, deceitful behavior to lure Diana into doing it. Tonight, Princess Diana's brother, Charles Spencer, said Bashir's behavior led Diana to lose trust in key people, breaking down relationships. Well, the irony is that I met Martin Bashir on the 31st of August, 1995, because exactly two years later she died. And I do draw a line between the two events. Bashir later worked in the US for ABC and NBC News before returning to the BBC, just recently stepping down, citing health reasons. Tonight, Prince William in one of the most scathing and direct statements from him ever. It is my view that the deceitful way the interview was obtained substantially influenced what my mother said. The interview was a major contribution to making my parents' relationship worse and has since hurt countless others. It brings indescribable sadness to know that the BBC's failures contributed significantly to her fear, paranoia and isolation that I remember from those final years with her. But what saddens me most is that if the BBC had properly investigated the complaints and concerns first raised in 1995, my mother would have known that she had been deceived. And Prince Harry here in the U.S. saying late today, our mother was an incredible woman who dedicated her life to service. She was resilient, brave and unquestionably honest. The ripple effect of a culture of exploitation and unethical practices ultimately took her life. To those who have taken some form of accountability, thank you for owning it. This is the first step towards justice and truth. Yet what deeply concerns me is that practices like these, and even worse, are still widespread today. Tonight, his uncle Diana's brother tweeting this photo honoring her, writing some bonds go back a very long way. Powerful statements from the princess tonight. Now, Martin Bashir says he's already apologized for asking for those bank statements to be mocked up, calling it a stupid thing to do. David. All right, Lama Hassan at Buckingham Palace. Lama, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.